I'm actually very disappointed that a house like ours is not the standard. I found only three or four net zero homes here on Vancouver Island. It makes me sad that it's such a slow process because climate change is such an urgent topic and I think we need to go way faster than what we do. A net zero home is a home which uses, on average, over a year, less energy than it produces. I had always that sustainability and environmental mind, yes, because I learned that very early, probably in grade five. We had a fantastic uh, teacher. He uh, already told us about organic gardening, about how bad it is to use oil and gas. So I always had that in my mind, but I only started building homes about 12 years ago. I had no idea about construction before that. When I designed this house, I started out with the insulation. So I modeled different types of insulation values. How much insulation do I really need in order to be still affordable, but also be as energy efficient as I wanted to be? I found a medium happy value then we add things like triple pane windows and really good air tightness to reduce the overall energy of the house. The BC Energy Step Program is an extension of the building code in BC and it basically provides a pathway how municipalities and therefore also construction companies get to build more energy efficient homes. Each municipality can decide which step of this building code they enforce or require people to build to. In 2032, all municipalities need to be at step five. One would think that a step five energy efficient house would look industrial. Not so, I love the look of our net zero home. Power outages are quite common in our area. We experienced five days of power outage during the storm in 2018. With climate change, we expect that there will be way more outages in the future. This converts 12 volt into 120 volt. Our EV has a lot of battery capacity. I just installed a small inverter here, put the car in what's called utility mode or camping mode. This thing can run most of the house for three to five days. In order to do our small part to mitigate climate change, we need to start by reducing our energy use. We have to go away from carbon fuels to sustainable fuels. If we do that by using the same amount of fuel what we do use right now, it will be very difficult. So if we start by reducing energy use first and then the remaining energy we need, we can then migrate to solar, wind, battery storage and all these nice fancy technologies. Right now, each municipality can decide... Motion on porch. <laughs> Sorry, that's a, our home automation system. Maybe the cat is on the porch or maybe a package got delivered, I don't know. 